I'm here today with the Right Reverend Juliet Bawa from Harare, Zimbabwe. Juliet, I am so happy to have you in my home in America. Praise the Lord. I'm so excited. We uh, thought you'd never get here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it took long for, for me to come here, but I'm so excited. Go to stand is the best. <laughs> yes, yes, it is. Yeah. Uh, we want to talk to you and, and share a little today with you regarding TMCI Women of Africa. And that is not just um, Zimbabwe or South Africa. We are talking about connections throughout the continent of Africa and the powerful impact those women have on the kingdom. So Juliet, why don't you share with us about the TMCI Women of Africa? Yeah, TMCI Women of Africa is uh, a powerful organization because um, it meets a, an African woman uh, at the point of a need. Mm. Uh, because uh, as an African woman, uh, we have been sidelined even in the kingdom of God, mm. in the ministry. We were not recognized. And um, if we are recognized, maybe it's to do those things that are the background uh, things. But when it comes to ministering the word of God and doing some other things in the kingdom of God, we were not given that opportunity. But through Women of Africa, we see that women are coming out. They are starting to have that confidence where they can also do the work of ministry, where they can also have confidence uh, also to, to share the word of God with other women. So it, it's very exciting. What is, um, you don't have to name names, mm -hmm. but what is one of the most exciting uh, testimonies that have happened because of TMCI Women of Africa and that ministry, if you tell our viewers. Yeah, one of the uh, an exciting uh, testimony that happened is of a woman, uh, she, when she got married, uh, uh, she, she got married in a family where they don't worship God. Mm. And then in, along, the, the, along the way, you know, in, in African culture, when you are married in a family, you become part of uh, like property, oh. <laughs> like you are, you are a property of your husband. So whatever he wants you to do, that's what you do. Mm -hmm. If uh, whatever they worship, then that's what you also worship. Mm -hmm. And then this woman, she gave her life to Christ. And uh, through uh, TMC Women of Africa, we taught her the word of God. She started to exercise her authority in the Lord. She started also to know her position in the Lord. And it happened that in the family, there was a death in the family. In African culture, especially in our country, when there's death or sickness, they want to consult which doctors. Uh, find, which doctors? Yes. Wow. To find out who causes it. Because uh, mostly there's a belief that when there's death or sickness, it must have been caused by someone. There's witchcraft that is taking place. Mm -hmm. So this woman now, she, she knows the Lord. And she knows now that she should not go and consult the witch mm -hmm. doctors. She's a child of God, born again. But it's still culture bounds her. Ah. She cannot say no to her husband. She cannot say to her, no to her in-laws. She was bound now to go uh, with them to go and consult. But I thank God because uh, this woman now, <laughs> she has the glory of God upon herself. She went... But as soon as the witch doctor saw her, <laughs> the witch doctor said, this one, I don't want to see her. Turn back this person. <laughs> I don't want to see her. If she comes, then I'm not going to perform what I'm supposed to be performing. Ooh. <laughs> so imagine she was there and she was turned back. God mm. fought a battle for her. Uh. Why? It's because she now knows her position in the Lord through women of Africa. So it's, it's, it's very exciting to see women taking their position it in is, the Lord. It <laughs> is. And from what I've come to understand, it's not about them being in charge mm -hmm. or them taking over anything or mm -hmm. running anything. Mm -hmm. It's simply about affirming who they are in Christ. Yes. That's what true. their position in Christ is. is. And being taught scripturally mm -hmm. how that works. Yes. So you're not in rebellion, mm -mm. but you will stand. Mm -mm. Well, we've really had um, a lot of growth with TMCI Women yes. of Africa. Yes. And 
maybe excuse me there, Shero. Yeah. Uh, because of that, that she stood strong uh-huh. and they saw Christ in her. The whole family gave their lives to What? Christ. <laughs> that part you left out earlier. Yes. Wow. <laughs> the, the whole family gave their lives to Christ oh. through this woman, the oh, woman wow. who has been taught the word of God, TMC, Women of Africa. So mm. we are also reaching out to lost souls through Women of Africa mm-hmm. by how the women are uh, transformed mm-hmm. and how they are carrying themselves in the Lord. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, wow. <laughs> I've heard some good stories, but I hadn't heard the end of that one. Wow. <laughs> um, you know, we have uh, chapters in several countries, but if I'm remembering correctly, mm-hmm. one that came, which reminds me, you know what a dandelion is? Mm-hmm. It's that we call it a weed, but it's a yellow flower that mm-hmm. when it's fully, it's all white and fuzzy and you mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and everything goes. Mm-hmm. And it's like, that's what happened with Sierra Leone. Mm-hmm. We never went and established mm-hmm. something, mm-hmm. but suddenly what happened? Mm-hmm. They were reaching out to you. Yes, yes. They, they, they are actually eager and thirsty to start uh, Women of Africa. And um, it's amazing that even in Zambia, mm-hmm. in Zambia, we didn't go there to start. Mm-hmm. But uh, when I shared with uh, one of the women there, she went ahead and started Women of Africa. <laughs> <laughs> right now, they're already meeting, having wow. time to share the word of God, having time to pray with each other, to encourage each other. They, When they started, they were so excited that they were doing it almost every day. Wow. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> and now they have a special day once a week mm-hmm. where they come together, they meet, they share the word of God, they encourage each other, and they also meet each other's needs. Mm-hmm. Yes, with those who have, they share also with those who don't have. Yeah. Which is uh, our motto is uh, the women of Africa is uh, to be known by love. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> TMCI, women of Africa, known by love. By love. I have a couple of things too that I found really exciting. Uh, there's two particular women there mm-hmm. that in me becoming a, a, acquainted with them, mm-hmm. just what I perceived or what I saw, they were very strong women. Mm-hmm. But much to my surprise, they didn't feel like they had a place in ministry, mm-hmm. that they couldn't, I don't even know the words for it. Mm-hmm. So when through the ministry of Women of Africa, through the ministry of our um, annual conferences, the TMCI Women's Mm -hmm. Conferences in Zimbabwe and and other, you know, um, some things were said and done that spoke to them Mm -hmm. and they just came out Mm -hmm. and and, uh, I'm just, so when I was told that, were they both ordained? Um, The pastor. Oh, the pastors, the pastors. They They were not yet ordained. But uh, through TMC Women of Africa, they started to develop the talents and the gifting mm-hmm. that are in them uh, to a point that uh, they started uh, home groups in their houses. Wow, yeah. Okay. And uh, the home groups are growing and to becoming a church. And uh, imagine this, is, was, this was during the COVID when churches were closed. But because of the confidence that now they had in Jesus Christ, wow. they were having meetings when churches were closed in their homes. I, the people I, were I'm giving, amazed. Yeah. People were giving their lives to Christ. And not only ladies were giving their lives to Christ, even men were giving their lives to and Christ. And families. Through, yes, mm-hmm. and families through the ministry of these women. Mm. <laughs> well, the one I know was ordained. And I was shocked because I thought... She was already in that kind of position. Now, I will tell you that it's somewhat the same, but yet different than we view things here in America. In the first place, um, being a pastor, being a reverend, being uh, a A bishop, bishop, those are are specific uh, things that you you develop into by the work you've done for Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. It's not something you can just go declare that you are. Mm -hmm. of course, I don't know. I have a passion for Africa and Zimbabwe, so what can I say? Mm-hmm. But I'm very excited about what's happening with TMCI Women of Africa, and I hope that you uh, will pray for them as, as we develop. Mm-hmm. Uh, Juliet is the resident 
a director, so to speak, but um, I oversee the whole thing because she wanted me to. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> and uh, I, I'm, I'm thrilled to work alongside you. We've just seen so many things happen, miracles that I didn't even realize, like what you're telling me. I studied culture about the women of Africa. And, and um, um, is this really right? I would say, do they still feel this way? And you would say, I don't know if I could. Oh, yes. And I'm going, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> But they're 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 coming out into their own in Jesus Christ yes, and who yes, they are in Christ. Yes, yes, that's powerful. I am I'm so thankful to you, Sheryl, mm. for coming up with this uh, women of Africa. Uh, it, it was just the Lord mm. who actually directed you to come up with this uh, powerful ministry that brings out. Uh, the potentials that are hidden in mm -hmm. these beautiful women of oh Africa. Oh my goodness, yes. Yeah, because, uh, you know, when you reach out to one woman, uh, a, an African woman, because, you know, we, when we, in our homes, we, when we stay, uh, we, we will be men of people staying in one home. Yeah. So if you reach one woman, you've got that, a whole crowd. Oh, oh. <laughs> You have 20, you have 50. Oh my gosh. So uh, thank you so much. I, I, I really appreciate it. And I feel so humbled also the way that you, you came in. You didn't come in as um, as a um, holy thou art. Like you have, you have holy <laughs> and you cannot mix with these uh, no. women, but you could fit in so well. I think that's why also it was easy for them to accept uh -huh. women of Africa and also to accept the Christ that is uh, in you it's because oh, of the, the humbleness you, and the way that you could come and fit in them and eat what they are eating. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Even worms. <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's what they, the testimony that, that they give, that mm -hmm. she could eat with us. She, you know, the first time that you came, they had this picture of this white lady who can who needs a special uh, treatment and so on. Oh my goodness. And they had prepared a place for you that uh, when it comes to time of eating, then you'll be eating from this special and special everything. And they were surprised when you said, no, I want to mix with, with the ladies. I want to be with them. I will tell you a funny story about that. <laughs> I didn't realize it for a while, but somebody was always running behind me trying to find out what I was doing because I wasn't staying in place. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it was easy. Mm -hmm. It was easy to love the people of Zimbabwe and Africa. And I'm thankful. Mm -hmm. Well, we would like to tell you more, but uh, Matt tells me that I have to keep some time limits so that you all don't lose interest. Um, I hope that you will remember the TMCI Women of Africa mm -hmm. and that you will pray for it and give it an opportunity that you will help support that. Mm -hmm. Juliet, would you like to say anything in closing and then pray for these people? That they would come into their own yeah what i would want to say is that um thank you so much for supporting women of africa and uh, if you can keep on uh, supporting women of africa and supporting our dear first lady sheriel in all the, the efforts that she's uh putting to support women of africa and uh, also if you, the opportunity allows, if you can also join here to come yes. and minister to the women of Africa, because I believe it's another woman who can uh, encourage another woman. Mm -hmm. And for them to see a woman from another continent ministering to them and also sharing their experiences, mm -hmm. I think it will edify them and it will help them also to boost their confidence knowing that uh, we are all the same. Yes. We are all women and we go through same challenges yeah. and there's God also who can fight for us and we can yeah. win our battles. So that's what I can say. Uh, let's stand with the women of Africa. Let's support them. And uh, we, are, we, we will be doing our part. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Thank you all for joining us on TMCI TV mm -hmm. and we will see you next time. Bye. Thanks so much for watching TMCI TV. If you found any benefit in this episode, please smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and ring the notification bell so you can stay up to date with our future videos. 
If you are interested in planning a church, starting a ministry, or looking for 501c3 tax exemption status for your existing church or ministry, TMCI can help. Click the link in the description below for more information. We look forward to hearing from you soon. God bless.